Okay guys, an onions, shallots and garlic type video today. I'm making a new tool to plant them. Here's me measuring up for the tool. Uh, towards the end we got a bit on freezing tomatoes and a bit of mishmash. I just found these shallots. Uh, yellow moon from well, from last February was the last sowing, and these were left over. And um, I wouldn't normally do them till February, but I thought, well, give it a go. They're going to die, so uh, let's try it anyway. So, my first sowing of 2022. Well, you know, first new sowing anyway. Just using this Leventon's Essential. Seems quite airy, so it should be right for uh yeah, look, plastic in it. Oh bloody heck. I was just praising this the other day, seeing how good it was. I think it's like any of these modern composts, you get good and bad. One one batch, one bag's good, and that bag is blooming awful. I don't have no tree trunks in it yet, but well, not in this lot, anyway. These were uh, two quid from Sainsbury's. It's not going to last long, is it? I'll do that again in a minute. Let's get them in about an inch deep. Oh, I'll use my finger. Yeah. And it's just started raining. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, it is quite light and airy, actually, this compost. Some of these, they might, might grow, they might not. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's put the greenish ones this end. If I remember, these were uh, nice shallots actually to eat. And I'm going to rush this because I'm getting wet. I'm going to cry in a minute, I tell you. Every time I come out. I think I've upset the big fellow in the sky somehow. Oh, I thought you didn't have one more, look. I'll leave a gap. Alright, that's me back in now. God. Didn't last long, did I? Look at that. You probably can't see the rain. Well... It's actually stopped raining. Still windy, still windy. Anyway, uh, my Shensu onions arrived yesterday from Jameson Brothers up in Scotland. So, usual routine, quality check. Sort out how many are good, how many are bad. Um, oh, here we are, what's that? Oh, that's my address. <laughs> um, no way to plant them, I'll save that. Like I don't know, but you know. Um, yeah, quality check. And I'll decide what I'm going to plant them in. So in the packet there's 70, uh, yeah, 75 pieces, 75 pieces, 75, that's not bad. So, any squidgy ones, any rotten looking ones? Good start. I'm just, I'm just going to push the, uh, any excess skin off, see that's a bit a bit small, but you know that can go into a separate plant in that one. It's a nice size. Yeah, that's that's broken. Look, that's not good. 60, 62, 64, 66, 67. It's bad, not bad. There's only a few bad ones. And I'll do for that. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, eight. Get some compost. 68. So I dropped one.
Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight. Let's leave those for tonight. Surprisingly nippy out here, my fingers are cold. Right, um, I'm putting some mammoth onions in. <coughs> Bit early for me. But I've just seen other people do it, so I'm going to have a go. There's 100 seeds in the pack, 49 cells in the Agrolan. So I'm going to do half now and a half in sort of February when I thought when I normally do them. Robinsons have changed the way they package their seeds. They, they used to come in a, a little uh, plastic vial, but now they're in, you know, uh, what, grease proof paper if you like. I'm only going to put one per cell, so I'll start off and bring you back. Ooh, well that's them all in. Just going to push them down gently, just so they're in contact. I mean, uh, I'm using Leventon F2S and it's soaking wet anyway. It's been outside, it? It's been outside all summer, <laughs> which means it's soaking wet. No, it's uh, been in a bag, but the bag sweats. So it means we're going indoors in the window cell, I think. A little bit warmer. Right, I'm going to put vermiculite on this. No, I'm not. Perlite, vermiculite. Vermiculite, but it's going to blow everywhere. So, stand by for a laugh. Right, first mail call from BT Brown. Onions set, overwintering ones. So we've got Snowball. Electric, the red ones. Now uh, these should be radar. Yeah, radar. Radar didn't do very well for me last year. So this is my last time of trying them. If these don't work, I'll be looking elsewhere. And the second box that's come, second lot, is from the garlic farm. I'm not opening this at all yet. It says sustainable packaging, but they use plastic tape, look. They use paper tape, like Amazon do. But one thing I do know is they use these starchy poly packers. And they, they, they don't get them wet. It's like, a, it's like your worst ever childhood breakfast when they, when they rot down. Well, let's get these out. Ah, oh, we've got some uh, elephant garlic monobulbs, the big ones. I, I've been saving my own for the last couple of years. And to be perfectly honest, as they say, I think they're getting weak. They're getting weaker and weaker. They're not getting. As, they're not as big as when I first harvested them. They seem to be losing a bit of their uh, vitality. So we've got some monobulbs. A few bags of that. Extra early white. I'm going to have to watch the film now, see which ones you <laughs> Yeah, I'm mad at white out here. Right guys, I'm going in because it's absolutely blowing a hooligan out here.
And here's the onions. Well, we got 42 snowball, 42 electric, and 42 radar. <clears throat> they just covered over now to stop the pigeons picking them out. That'll be off in a month or so. Better get that one and cover these over. Bloody white fly. one okay a couple of buckets of spuds to tip out and um, what we've got here a condor the last me condor and that's the last of the pink fur apples so I'll just tip them out I'm not going to show you me doing it just see the results in a minute need to get this onion bed topped up pretty quick so I want to get them in today while the weather's nice ah, not a bad day Got uh, two buckets of spuds tipped out, and cool, look at that lot there, I've got to weigh them, yeah. Uh, pink fur apples are for eating, condor for seed. Uh, we've got some beetroot zeppo, some carrot Amsterdam, some leeks, autumn giant too, um, summer squash sunburst, and runner beans stenner. So I'm still producing. Right, note to self, remember to take the kitchen tissue in when you've finished. Right. Well, what I've got now, um, only a quickie. Um, another kilogram of cherry tomatoes, tumblers, off the uh, hanging baskets at the front. And I'm going to freeze these whole, so I'm going to give them a quick rinse, quick wipe, on a tray in the freezer. And when they're frozen, in a bag, so they don't all stick together. So I don't want to get them too... They shouldn't need a lot of rinsing, really, because they are uh, nothing wrong with them, you know what I mean? Just checking for any bad ones, you don't want to store bad ones. <laughs> don't need rinsing, it's just started raining. Oh, for well, God's sake. What is it with me? I might actually let these dry out a little bit before I put them in the freezer anyway. We've got a few left to ripen off indoors and they'll go in the freezer now. Okay, very quickly, very, very quickly. Here we are a day later. I'm going to get these in the bag before they sit together. And as you can see, the Meisner effect is already taking, a, is taking place. That's where cold attracts the moisture. Sounds like marbles. <laughs> And this way they shouldn't stick together like that. Method in the madness. Right. Flavor those up. Not very really matters, they'll be gone in weeks, I suppose. 